Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Dean's Hobby Stop in Owasso, Michigan. Dean's has one of the Midwest's largest selections of used kits at great prices. They also feature new kits and supplies as well. Call Dean's to get their mail order list featuring hundreds of vintage kits or check their website for great deals on both new and classic models. This installment of Scale Modeling Methods covers the AMT Ford Model T Roadster Racing and Custom Body Parts Pack. It's number um, Parts Pack 009 and the AMT Blueprinter Parts Pack is um, number 8158. Now back in the mid 60s, um, AMT, Ravel, and Aurora all issued numerous parts packs with uh, mostly added custom parts for their current model kits. And we'll be using the uh, Model T Roadster body kit and the 392 Hemi engine from the Blueprinter parts pack, as well as some parts from uh, your stash uh, for different pieces uh, to complete the model. Now the dragster body uh, in the review kit is meant to give the modeler the opportunity to use their imagination to build their perfect version of a model using their own parts and other custom parts packs pieces. Fortunately, most builders have a stash of parts left over from their kits and back in the day the three-in-one kits gave just a whole bunch of them available for uh, their modeling use as well as their firecracker survivors to put together um, something like a parts pack body. Now this review will show you how to use some styrene stock and parts from your stash to turn a couple of parts packs kits into your perfect dragster. And, oh, that's uh, uh, that's our program director Newt uh, behind the glass there. He's tapping and it looks like he's uh, got some questions about this one. Wow, that's totally awesome, but it looks like a lot of work. How long did it take to make this model? Uh, you're absolutely right, Newt. Uh, this is made for the advanced builder, and it will take longer. Um, in fact, uh, not counting you know parts drying and and just finding the pieces from your stash, which really depends on how organized you you keep your parts stash. It took about 20 hours of assembly time to put this model together, but it's just perfect because it's exactly the way the builder wanted it. As I mentioned, uh, we're going to use one of the um, uh, parts pack engines from the Blueprinter series because they were very detailed engines. Um, in fact, um, this one comes with the optional blower or a four uh, barrel carb. And you can see the layout here. And this is one half of the uh, parts that come with the Blueprinter kit. Uh, the other half uh, con uh, includes a Corvair engine. Uh, and we'll give you a, a more detailed look at this later. But uh, as you can see here, this uh, this motor comes with a, a crankshaft uh, that will be installed uh, on, on the inside of the block here. So go ahead and construct the engine according to the instructions and as you see they're available there. And then uh, go ahead and detail the pieces. Now uh, these parts were chrome plated uh, and then uh, uh, with some you know uh, chrome uh, spray and then uh, detailed with uh, hand painting. But uh, they are very nice engine and period correct for a uh, uh, altered dragster of this type. Uh, as you can see, um, uh, she came out pretty good. It's Chrysler Hemi orange, but uh, also we um, we drilled some holes in the magneto and wired the um, the engine just like the uh, real thing for a detail. But uh, uh, we think it made a, a pretty good complement to this model, uh, so we put that together. And now pictured here is the uh, frame from another kit, uh, the uh, Fiat Double Dragster kit uh, from AMT. But um, that uh, that's not the frame that I'm going to use because I wanted to keep this part of uh, the other kit. So I decided, as they kind of show in the instructions, uh, to just make your own frame. It's very simple. Use some uh, sheet styrene according to the instructions here uh, and some... Uh, some of the small bar stock styrene or or um, you know rod type stock and um, you can go ahead and assemble that according to the instructions there um, the only uh, difficulty is going to be you know up up towards the front where the um, uh, the 
mounts are for the front end and uh, you can just use the um, in the circle there uh, to uh, make those pieces and then they can be like I said made from flat styrene even even sprue parts if you want to square some of them off um, or you can find yourself one from another kit, um, you know, like the one shown in the beginning there. Now at the rear of the frame, uh, I, I have also mounted a, a push bar because the uh, dragsters of that day, uh, they didn't have a battery and um, they, they were just pushed, you know, they popped the clutch and started the engine. Um, so that's, uh, that's part of the, the mix. Now the, the, the front axle and rear axle, they came from my parts bins. Uh, boxes uh, and the wheels came from an old um, uh, Carl Casper paddy wagon kit. The rear tires are from AMT's uh, M&H Race Master Parts Pack. Uh, once again, more parts pack uh, supplements for this. And uh, front tires were just from an unknown source. Um, so you'll be using your parts box to construct just about everything but the body. And um, you'll also need to supply the engine. So now we can turn our attention to, uh, you know, the part that we're really most interested in here is the uh, competition body parts pack. And in addition to the body, there's parts in there like a roll bar, seat and steering, you know, some basic stuff. Um, and uh, there's also um, the layout here of the pieces, as you can see. Uh, they're uh, they're very clean. These have been reissued uh, a couple of times from AMT and uh, most recently too. So you can still find these uh, on eBay, etc., uh, online auctions, and even on uh, regular uh, uh, modeling retailers online. Now here is a video uh, showing attaching the rear deck uh, to the body, and uh, a clothespin can be used to hold the. Uh, rear deck and the body together until the uh, the glue sets. Um, it's just something easy and simple to use and um, it should work just right for you. Um, just put the pieces together but don't use too much glue or you'll end up using uh, some filler and some sanding to get them to look nice. Next uh, we're going to add the, um, the cowl and then the uh, dash to the body. The only change I made was that the dash has um, six gauges molded in and um, for a, an altered racer like this you would have only needed uh, two uh, you know a tachometer and uh, and an oil pressure gauge so uh, go ahead and uh, I just sanded off uh, the excess gauging there and glued the um, the pieces into place and later on we'll just use the two pieces. With major assembly done we're going to add a little primer to the body some uh, just a couple of light coats and then a couple of wetter coats to get that uh, accomplished. And then we're going to add some uh, of the body color. Once again, a couple of light mist coats and then a uh, darker color coats for a good even uh, uh, color across the entire uh, range of body panels. And for reference, I used uh, one shot brand uh, silver metallic mixed with uh, equal amount of reflex blue. That's number 155L. For an added touch, I added a little um, um, metallic adhesive tape. That uh, It's an old roll that's been around in my parts box for a long time. But it's like the same stuff that goes in the bottom of one of those um, car uh, cases, you know, the crystal cases. Or you can use uh, bare metal foil if you like to get the same kind of effect. And you can see I added some uh, decals and, of course, the uh, chute in the back there. Now, uh, the decals, uh, once again, I borrowed heavily from that AMT uh, 1936 Ford Coupe kit. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there that you can use. So I painted the, um, the roll bar there and the uh, kit supplied seat uh, semi-gloss black. And then I found some um, uh, seat belts in my parts box to add for a little more realism. In this diagram, I'm showing the modifications to the steering, but um, you should know, as we've mentioned, you're going to be using parts from your parts box. So there will be a lot of modification required depending on the application and the pieces that you have. So everybody's is going to be different, but don't let that keep you from giving it a try. Um, in this picture, uh, the pitman arm is inside the body and it needs to be extended outside. So I cut the pitman arm off as shown in the sketch and I added a short piece of part sprue to get it uh, elongated out the body. So I drilled a hole in the body where it would come through and once the body is mounted for the last time then I glued it to the steering part 
a drag link uh, that would have to be added to that. And then I found this one in my parts box of unknown origin. And But you could make it from some small uh, tube styrene or rod styrene with appropriate detail added. Uh, or use the ends from a shorter one and then add the rod in between the ends. Now there's a couple of gauges on this thing, uh, this piece here, so I, I took those off because I put my gauges on the dash. I forgot to mention that the uh, the driveline tunnel there is covered with this um, uh, kind of a big scoop. Uh, I sourced that as a, it was a shroud or something from my parts box. Now uh, on the right side, uh, the blue arrow there, uh, that shows the uh, gas pedal that I found in my parts box. They're all pretty much the same for these dragsters, so just add one and uh, it'll do. And now it's time to add some of the uh, important parts to the frame, which is completed. And um, we're going to uh, get that ready to install the body. First, we add the engine from the uh, parts pack. Uh, locate that on some um, mounts that you've added to the frame. And then uh, I use some small uh, telephone gauge wire, you know, to plumb the fuel system there. You can see in the upper right. Now the fuel tank gets mounted to the frame and it came from the parts box. Uh, parts box. They're, they're all pretty much the same, those fuel tanks for the uh, dragsters. So just use whatever you have. And the kit had a supplied radiator shell which was painted the same color as the body. And um, it's mounted behind the fuel tank there. Now we also added the uh, what we called hairpins. They're the radius rods in the front uh, to the front axles there and the sides of the frame and those are used to, of course to mount the um, the, the whole front axle and the wheels uh, then of course are attached to that. And the um, uh, handbrake there uh, in the interior, uh, it got painted with some wood tone that came out of the kit. Uh, and then I used, uh, or I'm sorry, that came out of this parts box. It was a piece of chrome rod and I just added uh, some wood for the handle section. Now the shifter shown is one from the original parts pack. and But I did need to shorten the linkage and uh, mount it further forward on the transmission to get it in the proper location. You see here um, the drive shaft is pretty short. Uh, it was um, from the parts box and it, it's made for you know these short altered wheelbase uh, vehicles but um, you could also section a regular axle uh, or drive shaft for the same purpose. And now we can simply attach the body to the frame uh, around the seat there and then uh, it uh, goes into position on the uh, locating mounts that you provided uh, with the sheet stock on the frame. And also you see the butterfly uh, uh, steering wheel, steering, uh, wheel there uh, that uh, came in the kit and was chrome plated earlier. And so to complete construction we're going to add the pitman arm uh, to the stub shaft that you've uh, added uh, that's protruding from the body there. Uh, and that's just uh, just near the front of the cowl, uh, the front end, front of the door, and then add the um, uh, the li linkage there. And now the kit uh, came supplied with a tonneau cover that uh, goes around the uh, the driver's uh, the passenger compartment there. So uh, I painted that a semi-gloss black. Uh, put some uh, uh, buttons uh, around the edges like the old time uh, uh, snap-ons, and uh, your construction is now complete. Well, there you have it. This model is complete and it is perfect because it uses exactly the parts you wanted to use, painted the way you wanted to paint it, and made the way you wanted it to be. So, as you can see, it turned out to be a very nice looking showpiece for an early altered roadster. And uh, I think that uh, if this was seen on the drag strip, it might have just won just because it looks so good. If I were you, I'd find some parts packs, some stash parts, and build it and put it on your shelf. Well, we hope you like this scale modeling method tutorial. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the lower right of any of our reviews. Or you can find us on Facebook or our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.